for being Tedmund are rapidly <laughs> diminishing. And how does one become a double? Are there vigorous challenges and tests to overcome? Are you ready? And how does one become a double? Are there vigorous challenges and tests to overcome? I was born with the misfortune of looking like someone else. I should have stayed on God's chosen path. What took you from it? I'm the seventh son of a poor farmer. And not wanting another mouth to feed, my father gave me to the monks. The cloistered life did not suit you? I thought there would be great comfort in repetition. But instead I found nothing but prayer and back-breaking toil. The Norns weave strange destinies. Now your life depends on the story you weave for yourself. I am not a good forgery. Still tears bled and my hands sweat and I have a stutter when I'm nervous. B -b -b but I will try. <laughs> ah, the cornerstone of all great art. The captain does not know Tetman well. If we keep our heads, he will not question my orders. I hope. <laughs> we are too late. There is great horror here. Those who remain must be saved, whatever the cost. Let us approach the captain with caution. He drinks too much and does not need a reason to kill us. Yes, it is I, Thane Tedmund, coming to discuss the orders I gave to you not one day ago. This hammock will get us all killed. You murdered our people, men, women, children. Pipe down, you dogs. You're slaves of Kent now. Tedmund, what are you doing here? How dare you address me in such a defiant manner? Do you not know who I am? You are Tedmund, as I've said. And I mean no disrespect, Lord, but I was told you were back in Rue, sister. Oh, yes? And, 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 and do I... Do, do I look like I'm in Rue, sister? You, uh, do not, sir. A wise man is always unexpected. You travel in strange company, Lord. An Arab and a Dane. I'm here to advise your Thane in the ways of my people. That, that is correct. A cultural exchange of sorts. Perhaps one day I will visit your... Uh, da Dane... Dane land. Norway. You mistake me for a foreigner. But are we not all just a measure of the places we have seen? Right. Well, uh, that aside, uh, have you any further orders, Lord? Yes. Yes. I order, I, I order you to stop loitering and return to your barracks, you scabwit. And what of the captured Danes? You must kill them all! Every last... Sorry. No. Uh, leave them here. Tied up. As a... As a feast for wolves and crows. That is all. You may depart. Shoo! A convincing ruse that has earned you your freedom. Go, and make your life anew. Not in another man's boots. I will. This small sup of power has got me thinking. Perhaps I could be a l leader of men. Yes, yes! Hurry along, men! Warm thighs and ale awaits! Come on, Tied up like animals. I need to free them. Big mistake! Norns be kind. Thank you. We owe you our lives, friend. These Saxon horse sons would have killed us all. Yes, they would have. And now's your chance to head back. March with us on Rochester, and drain it of riches. I would gladly, friend. But we few will not break those iron-thick walls. And we have no allies in Wessex. None who could be called upon to attack their countrymen. Mercia will heed the call. Giedrich will provide our viking at Hort. We'll send a message to Oxenfordshire. The men of Mercia would gladly take a swipe at Wessex. What is your name, warrior? Runa Egelstotter. We need ships, Runa. We have a small fleet moored up river, but a naval chain blocks passage to Rue Sister's walls. I'll remove it, and your people will bring their ships. 
Now, gather these fallen weapons and armor. Gidrich and the men of Oxenafort Shire will need them to hide their Mersian origins. My warriors were denied Valhalla today. I cannot bear the idea of gifting their weapons to more Saxons. Their sacrifice was great. Their gift will be all the greater. And they will know justice with our victory. It will calm their restless shades, I promise. Will your men bring the armor to the battle? And what is our plan? In the morning you will go to Buckingham. Remind Giedrich of his promise. When you have his bond, meet me on the shore near Rusister with the ships. Ah, but Cunibert must be warned in advance. He'll need time to muster his rescue party. Runa, that is your task. I'll tell you where to meet him before you leave. All seems in order. At first new light, I will leave. Good. That gives us time to drink. You travel so far to carry out your duty. Is this the life of a hidden one? Always on the move. Mine is not the usual path. The creed does travel. Our ideals are universal. We believe that. So there's nowhere you call home? No place I call home. No. Weird. For me, home is family. But I have no family. No one? Not even Hytham? Parents, brothers, all dead. I lost my parents when I was nine winters along. Without Sigurd, I would have. I would have. There is always one unbreakable bond. Yes. Children. <laughs> they bewilder you. They can cause you so much worry. Fill you with joy. Even stop your heart. And if you're lucky, they replace you. I was not so lucky. I had a son. I miss him terribly, even now. I am sorry, Essam. He was taken from me. By someone I trusted. A friend, a mentor. A man who I would trust with anything. trust with anything can take everything he took all I had all I had Sister will not be an easy nut to crack. Time to prepare.
This area is off limits. I need to clear this fort and break this chain to get our ships safely upriver. The mechanism should be inside. God damn you! I need to clear this fort and break this chain to get our ships safely upriver. The mechanism should be... this fort and break this chain to get our ships safely upriver. A mechanism should be inside.
With the chain down, Githrich and the ships can get through. Eivor, we await your orders. You brought your weapons and armor? Aye, Raven Tamer. Good. Now we dig in and wait for our friends. Well met, old friend. When the chance arrived to lodge an axe in the sod of Wessex, you thought of me. Such an honor. Is everything else in place, Eivor? Are we ready to take Rusester? Rally our army. We will drag this mouse from his hole.
time to die! Take this fortress, Dane. Alfred's army will smear your innards across the battlements. We're not here for stone and sand, Thane Tetment. I shit on you! 
You and your toy gods. I will not bow to you like some puppets, Lord. I would rather die. How much will your king pay us to keep your sniveling head upon your neck? An army marches upon us from the south. A holy man from St. Hadrian's Priory, backed by a field. Ah, then, Abbot. Kinnebert? God be praised. If riches are all you care about, the church has it in abundance. If the terms are fair, you'll have your freedom. A chest or two of silver for a shit-stained sewerette. Stay quiet, or I'll not be able to stop my friend from slitting your throat. Watch yourself, heathen. You handle me too roughly. You will die for the indignities you've showered upon me, Dane! I mean no offense, Thane. You're only a hefty ransom to me, nothing more. This is why you batter down my gates, kill my men, for a purse of grubby coin? You have no honor! Enough! Let this good man go, or suffer an iron sickness. And what do you offer us in return? Your lives? We lost many good men storming this keep. It will not be in vain, Christ slave. Twenty chests of silver. Give them all they ask, Kinnebert. A hefty sum that will leave God's coffers hollow? I cannot give it up without some assurance. Tedmund, you extort me in return for my life? You were swiftly met, Abbot. Not long after these... these scallious worms took my fort. On the Lord's bidding, Tedmund, at prayer, a terrible vision befell me. A host of heathens, your life in danger. A coincidence I find rather... <coughs> rather ominous, Abbot. Do you... <coughs> God help you, man. Are you well? Air. I need... I need air. He's dead. The work of poison, no doubt. No, 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 no. Rouse the man! He cannot be dead! He must not be dead! Poison? How does the man die of poison in our arms? Many great kings and paranoids have carried poison in times of war, as an alternative to capture and ransom. A catastrophe! Alfred will choose another and... By the saints! Alfred! How will I explain this to the king? We follow this road to its end, Cunibert. You may not like where it led, but you owe us our half of the bargain. You shall have your paladin. I need a day. Return to my abbey tomorrow, and you shall... Oh, dear, oh dear. These delays are grinding at my bones. We should abandon Kinnebert, find Fulke ourselves. Peace, Eivor. Speak with Giedrich and relieve him of his oath. I'll meet you at Kinnebert's abbey. You fought like beasts escaped from your hell today, Giedrich. Your oath to me is fulfilled. It was good to stand shoulder to shoulder with you against the pox dogs of Wessex. May our friendship endure. This tangled briar of Christians and lords means nothing to me. I'm here for Sigurd. I understand. When you find him again, come see me. We'll feast and sing with mead and friendship to warm us. Agreed. We will attack on sight here.
too quiet here. Where are the brothers, or the abbot's men? I would say, well met, brother, but I cannot shake off the needle itch of dread. Is something wrong? I followed the abbot here, kept him in my sight. But the monks, his servants, I have seen nothing of them. Dead? I do not think so. But there is no good here in this grave hush. And where is the abbot now? In his quarters. Come, and be on your guard. Does this have the stench of betrayal to you, brother? Why would the godly shepherd ally with the heretic? Kinnebert is a man who craves power and position. With Tedman dead, he must find it somewhere else. There is truth in that. Keep your eyes and blade sharp. Bert, your guests have arrived. Come. Supper's ready. The dear abbot sent me a warm invitation, said my friends were eager to meet with me. It's early for supper, I know. But Kinnebert's ale goes so well with roasted lamb and cinnamon blueberry peas. I couldn't resist. Where is my brother? Is he... is he not here? Mon Dieu. I never told him. Kill her, and we'll never find Sigurd. Sit, Ava. Eat. And let me tell you the tale of a man who talks with gods. You mock me. I have killed for much less. Of course you have. Isn't that the way of this ugly world? We call the sheep and thin the flock as we see fit, you and I. Most who walk the earth are little more than talking blood bladders, wasted flesh. But not Sigurd. Sigurd is something else. Sigurd has been touched. He is deified. The gods, they speak through him. You lured him in with that lie. Your words are bile and blight. You should have listened, Avar. I tried to tell you. The gods are real and their power is within our grasp. You will never find him. Not till I have had my fill. To old friends. This really is delicious, Kinnebert. Is it cloves I taste? Well. That concludes supper. Kill them, and bring their bodies to my sanctum in Canterbury. They will be upon us soon. Maybe there is another way out. Try that myself. 
myself. Full Kaled slipped that her sanctum is at Canterbury. She did. And with no cause. I'd approach the place with caution. It may be a lie. It may be, but it's the only lead we have. I hope all this innocent sacrifice is worth the trouble. It's Sigurd, my brother. Of course it is. Then come! Let us dive into the Maw of Death. I was never keen on seeing my winter years. This will not be for nothing, Eivor. We will find Sigurd. It's not just him. I want Fulke to suffer. <clears throat> Thor lends me strength. Go hooded here. Hey! What's this? This place swarms with Fulke's people. Sigurd will be well guarded. Portion and subtlety Ready. should be our path. Follow me. This is a trap. Why would Fulke give us her sanctum? She baits us. Cocksure and arrogant. But she cannot see failure in her path. Her fearful.
So we are to blunder in Whatever like we an find ox? There, keep your head. You chastise me like a child. I guard you like a father. Nothing is served with your brutal end. You have much to do in this life. I guard you like a father. Nothing is served with your brutal end. You have much to do in this life. I know it. More riddles, Sly Tom. No riddles. The sense of greatness is in your own. Your destiny is not to stain the stones of this godhouse with your blood. Hey! Come here a moment! Give me a hand over here! Still here, burn this Christ house to the ground. What does it mean, these word tangles that speak of elves and demons? Details on the Order of the Ancients. Fulke ranks high among them, but it's not their head. The Gospel of Mary Magdalene. The plans to the great fortress in Wessex. Is there something here we can use to breach it?
found something. Anything we can use. I may have. A fortress in Sussex. The order trained soldiers there. We must be sure. Secret is running out of time. Anything else? Documents of interest to the Hidden Ones. Hytham will surely want to look. But for Sigurd, Porchester is our only lead. Hmm. If he is in Porchester Castle, we'll need a massive army to crack its walls. I have many friends in England now. If I call on them, they will come. They will. Bassem. She severed his arm clean off. Can a man survive such a loss? Physically, he can. Mentally, it's hard to say. So much stress can drive a man to despair. If you suggest he might take his own life as Tedman did, banish that idea. I must tell my people at the settlement that their Jarl remains a captive. They will not take it well. We will not fail again, Eivor. I'll scout ahead and send word to the settlement when I know more of Porchester. Be ready.
Where is he? Where is Sigurd? He... he's alive. But not with you. Where is he? Dag, not now. I need to speak with Ranve. You never found him, did you? Tell us, Eivor! We deserve the truth! I need to speak with Ranvi. Step aside, now! You never found him, because you didn't look! <clears throat> I see you, Eivor! I know what you are. Eivor, you come alone. I fear what that means for Sigurd. I... I could not find him. That madwoman Folke, she... She slipped away, took him to Sussex. We need an army. Call on our alliances, remind them of their oath to me. We must act before... Before... Before what, Eivor? She tortured him, Ranvi. Did unspeakable things. Severed his arm and left it as a gift. I fear she means to kill him. Slowly. Gods. Hey, my boy. Stop there, Wolf Kissed. This ends now. Dag, turn around and walk away. Your habits are not my own, Eivor. I do not flee responsibility for the sake of my glory. I stand firm with my people. For many months, I have stood at your side, keeping faith in Sigurd's judgment. Because I believed in him and his vision. Do as Eivor commands, he told me. And I have. Against my better judgment, I did as you have asked me. And where has that left us? Without a Jarl? Without a purpose? Watching you chase glory around this land like a spooked hare! You could have come to me in confidence, Dag, but that offer is gone. I have no need of it. My mind is fixed. Hear me all! I challenge Eivor for the leadership of this clan until Sigurd is safe home. Walk away, Dag. No! We fight to the death. I accept. We settle this now. Ah! A final act of courage. Very well. Let the circle be made! Help! 
burned you like a suckling pig! This does not need to happen. A coward to the last. Have courage, Eivor. I will make it quick. I grant you exile. Leave this place, but go with your life. Spare me your pity and fight! So be it. You leave me no choice. any pity, I would not lavish it on this poor fool. He forced my hand. Yes, and the cost of disrespect is death. You said it yourself. All he demanded, you gave him. That should be enough. I have no need for one so fragile in my hall of heroes. He fought for what he believed in. Does that not count for something? Does it? You killed him all the same. What is the true cost of disrespect? The choice lies with you. We should not have come to this old friend. Take this and fly to Odin's hall. Whatever you sought in this life, May you find it in the next. Go to your homes. I will lay him to rest. Go to your homes! Dag accused me of betrayal. He accused me of breaking my oath. And this, this is the answer I gave him. Now you will hear the truth unvarnished. None, none more than me wishes for Sigurd's safe return. You know this. You know this. All of you! And I will burn the fields. And dredge the rivers of Wessex to find him. That, that is my oath. That is my oath. And I will find Sigurd. You will not be without your Jarl.
You lived as you died, proud and defiant. I cannot begrudge you for that. I miss hearing you tell your stories, old friend, but I remember them well. Do you hope Sigurd knows how much he meant to you? We are beyond the time of telling such things now. I am sorry for what happened with Dag. It could not have been easy. May he rest in peace. Keep this. It serves your cause better than it does my pocket. One more gone. The world is brighter for it. As a token of my deep gratitude, I want you to have this. I have to go. Then go in peace. How do you feel, Eivor? I... I would rather not talk about it. I understand. Should we take this to your chamber? Hmm. No need. I want to see the Alliance map.
What of Essex? We received a summons from the Elderman and his Lady of Colchester, requesting you specifically for a matter of great secrecy. Foreboding. And who is this Elderman? One of King Alfred's lackeys. According to my scouts, he is a man who cares more for his own indulgences than the safety of his people. Approach with care. I will leave at once. An alliance in Essex would be invaluable, but go with caution. No sunlight reaches where you are going. May you bathe in serpent skins. Your name, Frownhold, 
quick the dead. Whatever it may be is stained forever. My name is Horsa. I left silver in the mouth of my home. Please say that it is spent well and frivolously.
all of these men of God, festooned in gold and silver. It is enough to make one blind. We are blind of now. Lanius was our only king. He saw straight and fought alongside Arturius. We have been blind ever since. My blows! must row in these waters. Sail! Catch the wind! Can't use the sail here! Sail out! Oh, hey, Raymond! During my 19th winter, I can still be on order the construction of a new longhouse. A splendid hall you now see at Thornburg. To build this longhouse, he employed the help of 20 men. I was among them, as was Fradi, the strongest and stoutest man I had ever seen. He set about felling trees and hewing wood for timber. Fradi was the fastest, dropping 41 trees in only two days. On the third day, a spindly man called Narl was near upon felling his first tree. He had hacked it all the way around like some mad animal. When the tree fell, it did so in a direction he had not wished. Straight Bring down the upon the Fradi. Bring the mast down! Arl called out, but it was too late. Fradi had only enough time to turn and face the doom bearing down upon him. Raise the mast! With that, he raised his arms to embrace the timber hammer. The force of the trees falling drove Fradi deep into the snowbank, yet his arms never let go. He held that angry trunk as a lover. Like hounds, we scooped at the snow to reach him. We found Fradi ten feet down, alive but in pain, still bearing the tree upon his shoulder. Yeah! Look, soldiers!
to see you, old friend. This is fine work, really. Thank you for seeing this done. Take a look at the new maps I made. I would like to see what you have in stock. Keep an eye out for wild animals here. I've marked the location on your map. Done for now? I'm off. A good day to you. Be my eyes, Suman. 